Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about different chemicals for um, southern lawns, which would typically be your warm season grasses like Bermuda, Zoysia, and a cool season grass, which is fescue. Um, there's tons of different combinations and chemicals that work great, but I found that these pretty much take care of the whole property and do a good job for my Bermuda lawn. Um, first, we're going to start off with this chemical here, which is uh, Ranger Pro. And most of you probably have heard of Roundup. This is just a generic form of Roundup. And its primary use is just to kill, like, anything. It's a non-selective herbicide, which means if this chemical lands on the foliage of a plant, it will kill it. So I use this for all the landscape beds. Um, keep the weeds and stuff out of my landscape beds. Be very careful with this because like I said it will kill anything from grass, trees, plants, shrubs, flowers, whatever it lands on it will kill. It is non-selective meaning it does not selectively kill. It kills everything. Um, this is a selective herbicide so and it's made for turf. It's a let's go three-way and what this is for is it's going to take care of most of your broadleaf weeds in turf. So you don't spray this in the beds. This will be for your grass. And it will take care of pretty much every common weed minus grassy weeds. Uh, crabgrass, Dallas grass, you know, those type of things. Uh, it won't take care of um, sedges that'll be another chemical so this is selective meaning it does not harm grass as long as you use it at the right application rate and follow the directions on the label it will not harm grass and it will take care of all your basic weeds in a lawn um, so with these two right here you can eliminate your weeds in your beds and the weeds in the grass that are presently growing um, what I don't have here to show you, but I want to talk about is pre-emergence. So your pre-emergent is for turf, and it's going to prevent weeds from germinating. So it basically goes um, off of soil temperature. In Georgia, typically you'll put your pre-emergence down in late February, early March for your summer weeds, and you'll put it down in September for uh, your winter weeds. A lot of people don't realize that you'll have two different sets of weeds. Um, I try to use pre-emergence a lot because the, the, if you get the timing right, you can prevent weeds from sprouting so that you don't have to use post-emergent herbicides to take care of the weeds once they've already came up. If you time your pre-emergence right, you can basically eliminate any weeds in the lawn. Um, it comes in a spreadable form. You just put it in a spreader always read the label and spread it at the correct rate and it has to be watered in. The pre-emergent needs to soak into the soil and it creates that barrier so that weeds can't sprout and germinate. Um, this is a fungicide and right now in July we're getting a lot of dollar spot in Bermuda and we're getting brown patch and fescue. Um, zoysias are getting fungus. So this is a preventative and um, it takes care of the fungicides if, if they're already in the, in the turf. Um, Let's go make pretty good products. This is, came from my local supply house. And once again, you always need to follow labels and directions because someone's designed this to work as it's stated on the, on the label. Um, I know some people have the mentality of more is better. But with chemicals, that's not necessarily true. You need to follow directions. If you follow directions, it will work as, as stated. Um, so to recap, we got Roundup for killing anything. Uh, I use this for my beds. Post-emergent herbicide, which is going to take care of weeds and turf that are already there. Pre-emergence, if you time them right, are going to be to prevent weeds. And fungicide, in case you get it, 
in the lawn. That'll take care of that. Um, I do want to go over fertilizer. Um, I have a, a bag of fertilizer here, for instance. This is um, Let's Go 24211. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but like your first number is nitrogen, your second number is phosphate, and your third number is potassium. And this one also has 6% iron. Um, this is a slow release nitrogen, meaning it typically won't burn the lawn. Um, you put it out and let's say over a course of a month it's going to slowly feed the lawn. Uh, nitrogen is going to give you growth and green. Your iron, which this one has a percentage of iron in it, it's going to give you green without growth. So um, I typically like to use something with iron in it. Just to keep it dark green and don't get so much growth out of it. Um, <clears throat> If you do use something with iron, make sure you do it when the grass is dry and blow off all the concrete, driveways, or whatever because once that gets wet, it's going to turn to rust basically and it's going to stain your driveways. I've also seen it actually stain grass. Like if someone put it out when it was due on the grass in the morning, they'll, they'll put the fertilizer out with iron in it and you'll see little specks of rust all over the whole yard and um, so you want to avoid that just do it when it's dry and make sure uh, you blow everything off um, this is a just a pretty generic fertilizer I mean it's 24 to 11 that's uh, 20 percent 24 percent nitrogen uh, in that bag which is 40 pounds so you'd have to do the math to see how many actual pounds of nitrogen are in that but um, it, it, it gives it good growth it gives it a nice green color and it's a slow release like I said so it's a, a, a fairly mild fertilizer um, you can get into uh, higher percentages like you know 32 or 40 which starts getting on the really high end of nitrogen um, but these were pretty good you could go a natural route which would be this company here um, they, they make a really good natural fertilizer um, it, it helps the soil a lot it doesn't harm any organisms that live in the soil like worm you know earthworms or whatever um, versus these more chemical based fertilizers this is a natural approach um, people have had a lot of success with it they they swear by it and it works good um, you could put a ton of it out you can't burn the lawn with it and they've had good results with it so so I typically would apply these uh, liquid chemicals with a backpack sprayer um, mine holds four gallons and read the label follow directions mix it according to the label and I use a backpack sprayer with a T-Jet nozzle. Um, it's a fan nozzle. It gives really even good coverage. But I wouldn't really blanket spray like a product like 3-Way. I would just spot spray it. Um, you know, as, as weeds pop up or as you see weeds growing, I would just spot spray with that. Um, Roundup, you're going to spray whatever weeds you don't want in flower beds and stuff with a backpack sprayer as well. Um, your granular fertilizers, fungicides, things like that, I use a Lesco um, broadcast spreader and it's calibrated, it's accurate, and typically all these labels are going to tell you what setting to set that spreader at. Um, it varies with you know ground speed and all kinds of other things, but I'm giving you just basic generic like simple to understand information on about these chemicals um, typical homeowner could take pre-emergence and go to your county extensions website or call them they'll tell you 
generally what time to apply those pre-emergent spring and fall to prevent weeds. Um, a, a basic homeowner could get a backpack sprayer from your local garden center and mix up these chemicals and have good success with them. Um, it's, you know, it, it gets really complicated, so I'm, I just wanted to make this like as simple as can be. Is if you use your pre-emergence and time them right, if you use these uh, selective herbicides as needed and spot spray weeds, you have a good fertilizer program um, that's timed right typically every month or so, every six weeks you're going to fertilize it. If you do those things and then your mowing uh, and irrigation is, is all on point and you have all those things lined up, you could have a, a really good, thick, lush, green lawn. Um, it's kind of like all these together is what equals you know success with with grass um, you take any of these out and things don't work as 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 planned so I think that's a lot of problem with homeowners is a lot of times they don't understand like a pre-emergent a post-emergent a selective versus non-selective herbicide they don't understand what these things do so um, they may get them wrong you know I think a lot of times I've, I've seen people buy a bag of pre-emergent and put it out like it's fertilizer and then they're upset when they have weeds or the grass isn't greening up or whatever. So, you know, basically you have to do a little research for your area, what type of turf you have, and soil temperatures and weather also. Um, if you do all those things, follow the directions on the labels, spread it, you know, as it says, I think you'll have really good success and have a nice lawn. Um, you got to mow at the proper height, you got to mow at the proper frequency. You want to irrigate in the in the early mornings, not late at night. Um, a lot of people who water at night, they'll end up with some sort of fungus growing because, um, like down here in the south, it's so humid and hot, the the grass is staying wet too long. So that that starts fungus and and lets fungus come in and, and start growing in the lawn. Um, you want to water in the early morning so that by noon it's it's dry and the grass doesn't stay wet too long. If you, if you do all these practices the right way, you can have good success with the lawn. Um, hope this was you know, some good information for you and you learned something from it or at least maybe I explained it in really simple terms to you and um, try to you know, do these things to your own property and I think you'll have good luck. I hope this clarifies um, the topic of chemicals and how to how to maintain grass and get you know really nice lawn um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that I'm always available you can email us um, leave a comment below I'll be glad to answer any questions or break it down further or get into more uh, detailed explanations of different chemicals and how they work um, we really would appreciate you um, liking this video and subscribing we want to build our channel up and get a lot of um, subscribers and people viewing these videos and try to get some knowledge out there and teach people how to, you know, enjoy their property and, and get it looking really good and, and have something that you're proud of. So um, I appreciate you tuning in and hopefully you have a good day and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.